Are you ready to take your networking skills to another level? The CCNP in core exam is your ticket to unlocking opportunities in the tech world. But before you dive in, there are some critical things that you really need to know about too. Not to just pass your CCNP and core exam, but as this exam. Welcome back to Tech Dive Hub. If you are new here, I'm Harun Hamdard. And today I have got something super helpful for those who aiming to pass their CCNP and core exam. Whether you are just starting your journey or want to pass your CCNP and core exam. In this video, we will cover the key topics that you really need to know about to ace up your season pink core exam. So let's get started. First thing first, let's talk about the format of your season pink core exam. The season pink core exam is 120 minute exam, which consists of various types of questions such as single choice, multiple choice, drag and drop, and also simulations, which all become from 102 to 120 questions. It's essential to practice time management because once the time starts ticking, it won't stop. So the CCNP in core exam is consists of six major areas that need to be covered. So these are the six major areas that I will show you guys. So architecture is 15%, virtualization is 10%, infrastructure is 30%, network assurance is 10%, security is 20%, automation is 15%. Now don't get fooled by these percentages that it show you 15 percent 10 percent the bulk of the exam is the infrastructure and the security which comes a lot of question in this uh what we call that in this area so just focus too much on these uh, so focus too much on the infrastructure and the security which are actually so much important so guys don't learn the topics based on the blueprint that is given to you like in here we have and here we have architecture like that these topics are explained like in here we have virtualization these topics infrastructure and network assurance in these topics are explained like that but learn it based on what osi model or layers so in here as you can see that i divided the ccnp in core topics to uh, layers osi model layers so like in here we have for the layer one topic we have and for layer two we have the vlans stp vtp either channel poor security and i just uh, divided the topics based on the layers so just by asking the chat gpt and it will divide it for you and in, in order from layer one to layer what layer seven so you will be able to easily learn the ccnp in core topics which topics should you learn and how should you learn them so like in here we have the layer one in layer one we have cabling you will learn you, you learn the basics wireless technology wireless technology you have to have the overall concept of what the wireless and you need to know about the whole idea of wireless which is actually so much important and uh, if you guys uh, just think about it that just learning the wireless and just don't giving it too much time but it will be what do we call that you are probably it will become a big problem in the exam so you have to give too much time to wireless and in layer two we have VLANs. learn the concept configuration STP concept and con configuration, STP rapid spending, multiple spending, you have to learn all of them. Like we have, what do we call that? Mm. Learn also the configuration and also what? The uh, concept of it. So either channel is also important. One of the simulation was that came for, for me was from either channel and for security is just that need uh, you just need to know about the concept of this piece of thing just get the overall idea it is important dynamic orb inspection just learn the concept and you it will be enough for you 802.1q learn it so much important weeks learn just have the overall idea the concept is important you didn't, don't need to know the configuration but if you have the concept uh, you will be able to answer the questions about weeks learn so Come, let's come to layer three Too much focus on ospf uh, learn the configuration and also learn what well, what we have something known as from zero to hero so you have to learn the whole topics of ospf that is given to you in here as we can see let's come here if you look at it in here we have the ospf topics are just explained in the infrastructure that all the topics are given to you like which thing you need to learn from ospf from EIGRP from BGP and you have to learn all of these topics that, that we have in here. I will explain it in another lecture for you, but still learn these topics. And we have DRE learn the configuration in what the whole concept it is actually so much important. 
IP version 4, IP version 6, so much important, learn all of it, HRP, VRP, GLBP, you have to learn the whole thing, and uh, one of the simulation was from VRRP and also from XRP, from both came to simulations, and IP6 VPN, so much important, too much important, one of the simulations was from that, you have to learn the concept plus watch, the configuration. LESP is also so much important, you have to have the overall idea and you don't have need to configure it, but you have the overall idea. VRF configuration plus the concept, both of them is so much important. And therefore we have TCP IP, just basing understanding is important. Quality of service is actually, you have to know deeply about what the quality of service. Session layer, layer five, NetFlow, one of the simulation was from NetFlow. So you have to know the configuration and what the concept of netflow spun and uh, a remote spun or what do we have that or remote spun you have to know the overall idea plus what configuration uh, data encryption you have to know the data encryption we have a lot of thing in secure uh, things in security that i will explain to you if i had time i will explain it in another video for you guys and we have in layer c1 snmp network automations network automations just don't skip it is actually so much important automation in programmability is one of the most important topic that you will need to know about don't skip the automation and because you have to know about it layer say when we have cisco dna center you have to have the overall idea of cisco dna center and how it works the takak server ready server how to configure them how to configure from the router side how to configure it from i server so you don't need to know about the i server side but you have to know the what do we call that in the switch side you have to know about how to configure it from that side and uh triple a also so much important as i told you right now authentication authorization and accounting so these are all the topics you will definitely need to have routing and switching fundamentals down code like eigrp bgp hrp uh, we have raw switching protocols and we have routing protocols so you have to have deep knowledge of these topics and know how to configure it so it's also so much important running is great but handling or hand or love will help you to what uh, do the simulations or configure the simulations very easily and it will look so much natural for you guys practice configuring vlans ospf or bgp and we have xrp everything on gns3 packet tracer and even you have to configure them on what on these programs and if you have real switches it is we have and first we have Noor ala Noor. It is uh, better. Security plays a big and major role in Encore exam, such as like we have port security, DCP snooping, and uh, switching. We also have secure access protocols, triple A, 802.1x, and and VPNs. And you will also need to know basic security layer, two topics, and DCP snooping and IP security guard. So. It is actually so much important. Automation and programmability, don't skip that. Actually, a lot of guys just skip that part and don't think about it too much. But still, automation and programmability is one of the most important uh, topics that you really need to know about. Nowadays, uh, networks are not configured manually. You uh, They will use uh, automations like SD1. We have SD access. So don't skip automation. Yeah, you don't need to have uh, advanced uh, advanced coding and no advanced coding like python or apis so just uh, have the basic knowledge of python apis and what do we call that ansible can help you to ask this exam or pass this exam so by using the right study material it will help you to pass your csmp core exam the first and first of all the most important material that you really need to to have is is the 31 days of what is this book 31 days before your ccnp and CSA enterprise core exam so this is the book that actually helped me to pass my ccnp core exam and uh, you really need to know about it and it is not just a book that you just skip it and just uh, learn it not quite right my in my opinion if you read this book quite right and with uh, all your power read it not once not twice it will you will have to read it thrice like it is 31 days uh it is 31 days and here as you can see so if you learn each day with all your power and if you learn it quite right and just don't skip parts of it so you will be able to 100 percent pass your ccnp and core exam and uh, 
I will give you the guarantee if you learn read this book quite right, you will be able to pass your CCNP in core exam. Just don't rely on this book. And uh, as I give you all my opinion about this book, but still, uh, reading is not just the only thing for passing your CCNP in core exam. You have to know the simulations and how to configure them. So you have to learn the configuration also. Also learn about the configuration. And so using online platforms like we have kbits.com so kbits.com will help you to what to if you what we call buy a course in here in there so in here i will show you guys and uh, you have it in here control t and we have kbits.live so if you come here and look at uh, this website uh, it will help you what to pass your ccnp inquiry exam and give you a lot about uh, tell you a lot about ccnp inquiry exam and if you want to uh, if you want to pass your assistant ping inquiry exam, not just that, you can also use dumps to pass your assistant ping inquiry exam. I have it in here with me, and using dumps will help you a lot in this assistant ping inquiry exam. Just don't rely on the dumps too much, but still, it will help you like 40 to 30 percent using dumps. It will just give you the overall idea of how the exam questions will be. So, using dumps is also so much important. Finally, make sure you plan your time wisely. You have to create a schedule to practice a uh, hands-on lab and also learn what the theory. So you have to, what do we call that? Balance your time. So this is one of the most important. Like in here we have 31 days before your CNP and core exams. So like for each day, balance schedule your time. Like from this time to that time, I will learn the theory. And from this time to that time, I will have hand-on lab practice. And it will help you a lot. And don't forget to get good rest. I mean good rest before you, if you want to pass your CCNP and core exam. Before passing the exam and you, before going to the exam, you have to have a good rest. You have to rest well and to clear your mind it will help you to stay focused in the exam remember it's all about mastering the fundamentals and getting hands on practice so don't forget to read configure and sleep well read configure and sleep well and if you just go on this uh, schedule and you'll be able to pass your system pink core exam right now so don't forget to subscribe like and share this video with your friend to help them to pass their CCNP and core exams. So thank you guys for watching and see you until next time. Bye bye.